welcome to my Daisy Global. Today we are discussing about the lean manufacturing which is newly added topic in the gate examination 2021. These are the topics like 5S technique then after Kaizen then pool manufacturing, mistake proofing, quick changeover then Six Sigma and the TOC. Let's see one by one. Here in the diagram as you can see that first one is what is lean. So in the western world price is defined as cost plus profit but nowadays in Japan mainly Toyota company employed the following expression which is profit is equal to price minus cost. So basically we have to reduce the cost for increasing the profit in the lean manufacturing. Then after the definitions here value is equal to performance by cost and waste is equal to any activity that consumes resources but creates no value which is also known as MUDA then after the next topic is the Toyota production system here Toyota has developed its production system around eliminating three enemies of lean first one is MUDA which stands for waste then after MURI which is for overburden and third one is MURA for unevenness here in the diagram you can also see the images of the three different type of TPS production systems. So these are the enemies of the lean manufacturing. Then after the next topic is seven ways of the lean. First one is the inventory then after waiting then third one is defects then after ore production then motion then transportation and the ore processing. So by eliminating this waste we can achieve the lean manufacturing then after some questions here first one is how is the lean manufacturing achieved by an organization so here it is simple but confusing sometimes so answer is elimination of waste then after the next question is which waste type the shortage of materials is classified under so the answer is waiting then third question is which factor is the main motivation for organization to adopt lean manufacturing? Here the answer is increasing competition. Then next question is which waste is also called the ore processing? Here the answer is non-value processing. So there are some questions which are easy but, but sometimes it's confusing in the examination. Now the next topic is 5S technique. So here as you can see that 5S includes sort, set, sign, standardize and sustain. These 5 steps are important in the 5S techniques and you have to remember the order of the process also because sometimes in the examination the question may be asked like which is the third step of the 5S technique. Then after next topic is visual factory implementation. So here in this technique you have to just identify first one is the map of the company then after the necessary realignment of the walkways then assign an address to each of major action areas and the following topics are so on so you can read and take a screenshot if you want. Then after what is Kaizen? Here Kai means change or action to correct and Zen means good for the better. Basically it stands for change for improvement. And here three different terms are there like first one is the value added process or sometimes some non value added process but which are required which is denoted by NVA and R and the third one is non value added process. Then after the Kaizen is run by the damming cycle. Here it includes here the damming cycle includes plan, do, check and act. So it is also known as PDCA cycle. Here act is for the implement the base solution then after in the plan identify your problems then in the do test potential solution and in the check study results so this is the cycle the cycle is very important and also known as damming cycle so in general 
occasion is used for the gradual or orderly and continuous improvement and it is one of the most important tool of lean manufacturing. That after the next topic is pool manufacturing. Why pool manufacturing is required? So here you can see that work centers only authorized to produce when it has been signaled that there is a need from a user or downstream department and no resources kept busy just to increase utilization. So you can say that pool manufacturing is always required when the demand of the customers are there. So it is purely based on the demands of the customer. Here it requires the small load sizes then after low inventory then fast throughout and the guaranteed quality. Then after next one is sometimes inventory hides the problems like the unavailable vendors or scrap or capacity imbalance. So here lowering inventory is the solution for that type of problems. So here in this process you can achieve this by reducing variability then after eliminating waste then after streamlining production and material flows and the next one is accurate information then after the next topic is JIT here JIT is one of the most useful tool of the lean manufacturing which stands for just in time here the diagram is also there for JIT so just in time is purely based on the customer demands it is forced by driving inventory out of the production system and supplies and components are pulled through systems to arrive where they are needed when they are needed and the main goal of the JIT is achieve the minimal level of the resources required to add the necessary value in the production system. So these are the main five factors you can see in the diagram TQC then product planning then after inventory then supply chain integration then after here you can see that the objectives of the JIT first one is to produce only the products the customer wants and the next one is produce the products only at the rate that customer wants them then after produce with perfect quality then produce with minimum lead time and the next one is produce products with only those features the customer wants so these are the main objectives of the JIT then after JIT principles here the first one is one piece flow production then after machines in order of process then small and inexpensive equipment then after use a layout then multi process handling workers then easy moving and the standard operations defined. So these are the objectives of the GIT and the principles of the GIT. These are the small things but sometimes the MSQ questions will be asked in the gate examination based on these topics. So you have to note down every points from that slides you can see here in the screen. Then after the next topic is Kanban which is also most important tool. Here Ken is Japanese word which stands for the card and Ben is also Japanese word which stands for signal. It may be a card or maybe flag or maybe the verbal signal. And Kanban quantities are a function of lead time and consumption rate of the item. Then after here it is the sample of Kanban card you can see in the screen here and there are two types C card and P card. So this is the sample of the Kanban card which contains customer, location, container and here C card for the convenience and P card for the production. 
and after work balancing or you can say the take time so take time is calculated as total available production time per day divided by daily required customer demand in parts per day take time is the rate at which customer requires your product and work balancing maximizes the operator efficiency by matching work content to take time so this equation you have to remember for the take time then after the next topic is mistake proofing here you can say that pokayok the use of the process or design features to prevent errors or their negative impact it is also known as pokayok which is japanese slang for avoiding inadvertent errors which was formalized by sigyo singo and it is inexpensive and very effective process so here you can see the diagram also for the mistake proofing the second one is the right assembly then after next one is what caused the errors so there are mainly five types first one is poor processors or standards then the next one is machines then third one is non conforming material fourth one is worm tooling and fifth one is human mistakes then after common mistake proofing devices are guide pins then blinking lights and alarms then limit switches proximity switches and the other sensors then the next tool is single minute exchange of dials here it is also known as smed here you have to remember the full form of the smed because this full form is also important for the examination and single minute exchange of die is changing process tooling in 9 minutes or less this question was asked in the examination one time then after change over is defined as it is the total process of the converting a machine or line from running one product to another so here in the smd internal activities are converted in the external setups then smd process here you can see the steps first one is separate internal and external activities then after the convert internal activities to external activities and the third one is streamline all activities and then last one is document internal and external procedures so these are the four stages of the smd process this process is mainly used for reducing the time for the tool changing by converting internal to external this you have to remember then after the next tool is six sigma here as you all know this is very important for the examination point of view here it includes 3.4 defects per 1 million products and in the diagram you can see here for plus or minus 1 sigma 68% accuracy is there then for plus or minus 2 sigma 95% accuracy is there and for plus or minus 3 sigma 99.7% accuracy is achieved and it is based on the dmaic or you can say that define measure analyze improve and control cycle there are five types of cycles on which six sigma is run so you can remember this dmaic which is important for the examination point of view here then after the next one is 3 sigma versus 6 sigma in the 3 sigma company will spend 15 to 25% of sales dollars on a cost of failure and in the 6 sigma companies will spend 5% of sales dollars on cost failure so these are some points you can take a screenshot if you want and the next topic is theory of constraints here the constraints will determine the output of the system whether they are acknowledged and managed or not and minimum capacity is equal to maximum product rate this 
simple thing you have to remember for the examples of theory of constraints here in the diagram you can see that also then after significance of bottlenecks maximum speed of the process is the speed of the slowest operation in the bottlenecks and any improvements will be wasted unless the bottleneck is relieved here the question is also there what will be the maximum output per hour from a process with four steps having outputs of 20 units per hour 25 units per hour 30 units per hour and 15 minutes per hour here the answer is 15 units per hour which is maximum output per hour for the process now here this is the summary of all tools of the lean manufacturing although we have not covered all the tools but we have included in this video which are most important for the examination and here we have provided the full forms of the tools which are included in the lean manufacturing so first one is tqm the full form of tqm is total quality management second one is kpi which means key performance indicator then after 5y which indicates simply asking why until desired solution then fourth one is QCC which is for quality control cycle then fifth one is OAE which is for overall equipment efficiency here 100% OAE represents the perfect performance then after number six Endon which is for managerial maintenance and in this type of tool alert is given by manually or automatically then number seven pool system which is based on demand then here number 8 which is 5s here in this you have to remember the order of the system which is sort, set, sign, standardize and sustain then after JIT which is for just in time then POKAYOK for the mistake proofing then KANBAN in this CAN is for card and BAN is for signal once again here C type for conveyance and withdraw and P type for production, then after K zone in which K for change, Zen for good, and it indicates the continuous improvement. Then after line balancing or take time, here it is the product rate required by the customer. Then SMAD, which is for single minute exchange of dice. In this one, you have to convert internal to external and time less than 9 minutes. Then the last one is 3M, here MUDA for waste, MURI for overburden and MURA for unevenness. So in these last two slides, we have covered all the important terms for the examination. You can take a screenshot if you want. If you like this video, please do like and subscribe to MADC Global. And share this video to all your other friends who is preparing for the GATE examination. Similarly, we have made Quick reason for all the subjects of the mechanical engineering, the links for that videos are in description box. Thank you so much.